It's Ketchup Packets. Hey everybody, I'm Sean. I'm Nate. And this is Ketchup Packets. And today we are starting Season 6 of The Expanse. We're doing Season 6, Episode 1, called Strange Dogs. So... We just shot an intro for this, and we forgot sure to did. film it. <laughs> well, we didn't shoot one, I guess. We, yeah, we, we said an intro. We, we yeah, had a we, rehearsal. We acted it out yeah. for no audience. It was, right. It was uh, so that was fun, and now we get to do it inorganically and again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, uh, strange dogs means nothing to me, really. No. I don't, yeah, it means... It, it, means. It, it could be the creatures that are getting mad when they use the rings. We yeah, thought. yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. And uh, the Free Navy is the most powerful fleet in the system. Yep. And everybody's together. Everyone's just together, having a party. Yeah, Except having a Alex. party, and now, and now they're sad. Yep. And yeah, no yeah. more Alex. <laughs> Alex is dead. And that's fine. We're fine with it. <laughs> yes. Uh, Clarissa is on the Rosinante. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Nate has resolved to stop uh, <laughs> yes, harping on I'm how much he hates her as much. Be nice yes. to her because she is trying. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> yes, that's a good way to put it. She's trying. Uh, so that about covers everything we talked about. Mm -hmm. There's our condensed reshoot of our intro. <laughs> Even this late into the game, we make mistakes sometimes, guys. Uh, <laughs> we're going to watch the episode now. We have a Patreon link down there. You can check that out if you want. There's full-length reactions, and we're ahead of the YouTube versions. So check that out. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Gruncher. Is this a young what? Christian? Oh, or is it a new character? Slinkerbine. Cool. Sunbird. Send babies. Ew, they're gross looking. Like birds with no feathers. Where is the, what is what are we What's looking happening? at? Yeah. These are all alien beings. One of the ring planets, maybe? I but... have to give you all names. If I can figure out how to tell you apart. Yeah. The life all seems way too Earth like, though, to be just yeah. a ring planet. Just, like, unless they just created yeah. with Earth DNA yeah, stuff. Yeah, some. Know? Yeah. And they, they still have ferns and stuff, so that's nice too. And pine trees. <laughs> what are you? Whoa. Okay. That's okay. You can come out. Wears me out. It's gonna. Yeah. It's gonna be scary in a second. I'm less worried about the creature, and I'm just like, this scene is you very know. unexpanse, yeah. you yeah. know? Like yeah, what is happening? This is much more fantastical mm -hmm. than anything this show has ever done. Yeah, I feel like we. This is the first time we've seen any alien life that Besides, isn't like. Yeah. like colorful lines or goop. Yeah. Or like. Crystals. I mean, oh whatever. yeah. Okay. So, planet two, okay. ring six seventy three. Okay. So there's just yeah. Some of them, you know, and they're all supposed to be like in the Goldilocks zone or whatever. Like yeah. they're all supposed. They're to They're all be, habitable. Yeah. So Laconia. Yeah. This is the one where this shit was going on. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So many of the images are different. Mm -hmm. I mean, the system's yeah. been totally reordered. Yep, that's true. Everything's like ripping and like glitching, yeah. you know? Yep. Very interesting. That. Whoa. Ooh, I saw like the structure. Mm hmm. Interesting. Yeah. That's the biggest change in the intro I think we've seen since the show yeah. started. Oh, are we gonna rehash this? It's very bad. Whoa. 
We get like a 9-11 commission report about this. Oh no, wait, wait, wait a minute. Or? What the hell? Wait Whoa. up! God. What the fuck? I mean, this is apocalyptic levels of... Yeah. Earth is not... It's bitable anymore. Habitable. Stations declare loyalty to an Aros. Oh no. Rosinante no. joins the fight. Hey, great. Go. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is like a real war, a big war. Manhattan. Oh, God. Now, Murders know what it feels like to be Belta. It's terrible. Two striking populated areas. Total casualties under 500. Don't try to make it sound like a success. <laughs> right. Ma'am, but we have knocked down nearly every rock Marco and Neros has thrown at us for the last six months. It's 200 individual strikes. And he has kept... Jesus with Christ! Why he makes every station and rock hopper in the belt pledge allegiance to his so-called fucking free navy. Mars has assured us there will be one more Donager class operational within the month. And we'll have three more battleships ready for deployment by year's end. The yards are working around the clock. So yeah, all the, the inner planets are now like, okay, we need to start working together. Yeah. Enough of this. Well, they're in a squabbling. lot of trouble. Yeah. You know, I... I'm just amazed that we still weren't done with the we worry about people who throw rocks. Yeah, we right. We thought for sure <laughs> we finally just got there. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> nope. Somebody, somebody spoiled the end of the show for us <laughs> at the beginning. Not yet. It's the spoiler that keeps on spoiling. Our atmospheric CO2 scrubbers isn't working. Not well enough. Meteoric contaminants are still rising. Yeah. It's the apocalypse. Yeah. Even when they miss. It's also... I was I foolish enough to think that... that facility when it opened. The, ho the first rock-throwing event was like... Today. The one, right? Fears. Like they couldn't yeah. pull that off again. Yeah, yeah. right. Of course they can. Guess it's so. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that's a long recon mission. Yeah. I mean, space travel. Yeah. Well, I guess that confirms the rumors of free navy activity in this area. Yeah, they're just getting tired. Can you imagine? And the rocks just keep coming. Sweet you're just throwing 60. them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take us in for a closer look. No, we should keep our distance. The Free Navy loves improvised bombs and proximity triggers. They know it gets Marco off. I'll send in a drone. <laughs> you look so exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Pages, you still alive? If you call this living. You catch that power out on PDC-5. Is it better than underground prison? Like a serious yeah. Good. Nifty. Mm -hmm. Cool. I always love the spacewalk shots. They're they're fun. Yeah. No signs of stealth composites. Good. So they're trying to they're find where they're so launching far. the rocks mm -hmm. from. God damn it, there's another ship down there. Hang on. I don't think that is a ship. The whole rock. It's a drive. It's a, they're just got a putting drives on, on the rocks. Well. Whoa. That'd do it. Mm, so, yeah, so they're not even throwing them, really. No. Is that what I'm... Yeah, they're just they're, boosting them. Yeah. Wild. Marco. Not Marco. What's That's his name? A, Marco Jr. Yep, Marco I, Jr. I knew that it was the young one. I said the wrong name. <laughs> Philip. Philip. Jeez. Why does he look so angry? Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's, it's an uncomfortable scene. 
with the combination of hydroponics and livestock farming, we should be able to increase food production on Ceres by 15 to 20 percent in the first year alone. Dawes always said that Dawes is dead because I got tired of listening to what he had to say. So that's the official confirmation that Dawes died. Both of them and all their failures swept away. History has moved on. And so, so Marco has no interest in growing food for Belters. He yeah, just no. wants to make the inners hurt. Yep. We have to build new ag stations and farms throughout the belt. We must suspend water purification. You want something? Uh, I do. I mean, Fuji. That's not all you mean. Really? Let me know if you change yeah, your mind. Dude. Come on. What was wrong with that other girl? <laughs> she seems into you. Yeah, right. Not late. Get this. I think he's, you know, the fame's getting to his head a little bit. We've had a few scattered reports, but none of them panned out. We get up the bounty. More money? Is that the best you can do? Increase the bounty on Joma 20%. And the Bros and Nante as well. He's so mad at all our characters. Yeah. <laughs> of course. What's all this? Ah, huh? alligator skin. You like? Uh, an animal. Huh, it's very expensive. Shopkeeper gave me a bargain. <laughs> One of the cards, huh? <laughs> he stole your money, Cofain. It's fake. Bert is dying. We kill it, it's not coming back. Real things like this are all the things that you gotta make before to sell and get rich and fat soon. There won't you be any more of this. Oh, yeah, you that is bet. interesting. So you it's just have no gonna be no more alligator skin. No, so yeah. <laughs> and that now would they be... also have just accepted that they're killing Earth, yep. you know? <laughs> yeah, it's a troubling just afterthought to have. Earth is dying. Boo! He loves it. He sure does. Look at him. We forged our identities here. And now we will turn it into the jewel it was always meant to be. I mean, Ceres is a pretty big rock, isn't it? Yep. I think it's like comparable to Pluto in size, isn't yep. it? Yep. Fit a whole civilization in there. A place all builders can be proud of. And forever call home! I think that was one of the arguments when they were declassifying Pluto as a planet. They were being like, if Pluto is a planet, then so is Ceres. Yep. yep. Well, it scared me. I thought it was gonna collide. <laughs> No, there's always more gaps between stuff in space than you think there is. That's true. What a scary way to live. Yeah, jeez. Take the shot, but not yet. It's a direct fire weapon. It has to line up perfectly. It's not a good design. Well, if it's super powerful, if it does line up perfectly, then it could be a good design for the right circumstance. What did you do? She hit the wrong button. She hit the wrong button. Changing course, heading right for us. Okay. I'm sorry. Well, you hit the wrong button. That should not be possible. Yeah, you. <laughs> okay, what happened? Yeah, I'm confused. No pursuit. We got him. So they fixed it? They blew him up anyway? Mm -hmm. What well, were we able to get off the wall? Moving the crew over was the first priority. I know that. We transferred most of the fuel. One tank of water, two pallets of rations. Oh, so they had already booby-trapped the mm. place they were salvaging and they detonated that. I see. Which brings our missile load to a grand total of three. Three missiles left. Hmm. Only three nukes. Any rock copper with a standard mining kit could do this, if they were willing to waste an engine. We have to figure out how they're being triggered. If we could stop even a few of them before they're launched, it will be an accomplishment. Yeah, so he could easily just be telling everybody, go set up an engine on a rock. 
That's way scarier too because it decentralizes where they're coming from. Mm -hmm. And they could I think I see it. come at any time. Yeah. Marco's plan kind of went from sending a firm message to complete annihilation of all life on Earth, which is... Yeah, I, I mean, think it, he kind of uh, kinda got, had that got high on his own yeah. supply, you know? Yeah, it seems like it. I just realized this is the first time I've flown a Rusi. Ever? First time I ever had to. Oh. Yeah. No, Alex I mean, is gone. Or, I know what that feels yeah. like. It's their family, you know? Yeah. It would be hard, the survivor's guilt too, because he died yeah, saving her. Yeah, right. Do their helmets always have this sort of HUD thing going on? Um, I'm not sure we've really seen that before, but... Oh, oh, oh that's not good. Uh, what the heck? Naomi. It's gonna oh, activate? Yeah, it's, it's got a... The magnetic bottle cycling yeah. out. You've started the reactor. No, you need to get out of there. Oh, man. Yep. That's a cool way to show that. Yeah. I was very confused about what that was. You need to get out of there now. Get the Hold on. Yeah, I do. Between you and the dry down. Feels like there's not yeah, time. You gotta go. He's too late already. Mm -hmm. What's yeah, gonna happen? Yeah, right. No, that's not gonna. That's not how you fix this. That's not gonna work. What is the Jack Shepard method? <laughs> hey, it worked. What? <laughs> Just hit what? It really hard. <laughs> <laughs> they were trying to be all surgical about it. That's all they had to do. Yeah, I guess. Just whack so. at it. I feel like she'd still be pretty angry. Mm -hmm. I think far enough away, but... No, sure, if I could break it and shut it down. Just come back inside, please. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Is there something you need Peaches to do differently? I don't really care what she does. We've been flying yeah. together for months now. She's been working her ass off. The only reason she's here is because you decided to make her part of the crew. Yeah. Well, Amos. But maybe. You could cut Peaches a fucking break, like we all did for you. That is a very good point. Isn't the proto-molecule sample that you gave to Fred Johnson now the one that's in the hands of the Martians? Yeah, for real. Like, he certainly wasn't <laughs> being nice about it, but that's a very good point. <laughs> we need to refuel. We need to be on. We're gonna talk about your other problem. Michio is not a problem. She made a mistake. We all have. Someone cost us a shit. Yeah, that was a really big mistake. Mm -hmm. We have lost so much already. Maybe you should ask her what she thinks. You are my captain. Whatever you choose, I choose also. It's reassuring. Well, life on a spaceship kind of requires that command structure kind of thinking, you know? Yeah. Give us a moment, please. I got it. Give her an honorable out. She's obviously miserable. We will find a safe port where we can resupply. A place where you can stay. No, I don't want to leave you. It isn't forever. When this is all over, we will... Come back and find you when it is over. Yeah, I mean, like yeah. the whole war. <laughs> yes, seems like it's gonna be a long war. I like how Drummer just got so fed up with the larger politics stuff <laughs> that she was just like, "I'm only gonna deal with the politics of one ship right now." <laughs> Shortly after. <laughs> And that one. Seringi, Medina Station. 
It's one of our uh, greatest yeah, well, mm -hmm. so happy to see us. They're so they enjoying their lives. Yep. I think their lives will be very short. Yeah, that's interesting point. Were you part of the attacks on Earth? Me no, not so lucky. He was. You were? Hey, don't be so modest. Philip, he was the tip of the spear. How, how do they not know this already? Well, not everybody knows everything. They're just two random belter girls. Yeah, you know? that's true. But Ashford the ghost sniper, the dove, and dropped the rocks to get revenge for all Seems like he would be a household name, though. I don't know why, but... Who knows what kind of lives they lead. Does he have regrets? Feels like it. This yeah. what the sound design is saying. Hey, where are you going, Koyo? Yeah, right. It's a little abrupt. I still think he's gonna kill Marco eventually. Yeah. I think he that's like uh, Philip is the one who gets to do it. Seems like the logical thing. Yeah. We owe these people nothing. Cities is our capital. These are our people. Your job is to get them what they need. If you have any specific logistical suggestions. We'd love to hear them. Mm. But the solution isn't give up. Yeah, right. No, just, just do your job. Yeah, that's actually kind just of a good... Yeah, do, do your job. This. It's not my job to tell you how to do your job. Otherwise, I'd have your job. <laughs> Another intel update on free Navy assets came in. I was going through it, and I saw this. That's one of the rogue MCR and gunships that finished off our fleet at the ring. Oh, he there watched it get eaten. Good. Whoa. It reminded me of the artifact on Ellis. The thing that wiped out the protomolecule builders. It's not our problem anymore. Well, in the big picture, it could be. Right. The only reason the rings are here is because of us. Still an element here. Yeah. I am out here. Instead of drinking myself, lying on Luna, is because I don't want to abandon you. So don't abandon us. Hey. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Eyes on the prize. I yep. Found I pulled as many signal relays in the belt as I could, looking for coded bursts at that frequency over the past few months. Found a bunch of them. Okay, mm. so the detonators. Mm -hmm. I triangulated the signals to see if I could find out where the transmission came from. It looks like an orbit. Probably a spa ship that's been guiding the rocks. Hmm. The power of math. Yeah. If we could find it and take it out, it could seriously reduce Marco's ability to keep hitting Earth. That's a mission? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. And you must do it. We're barely on the way. I mean, what I else? Happen. What is there left to save, really? I mean, I, I understand it's extremely now cynical, we, but... You can work like to reverse the effects of what's happened already, and every rock that keeps hitting makes that process harder. That's a good point. Yeah. It's always better to stop the bad thing. Mm-hmm. Marco pulled me back into it. And now the people we're hunting and killing, the same ones I used to call my own. I don't know how much longer I can bear it. Yeah, this has <laughs> got to be very complex for her. Yeah, I mean, war is hell. Mm -hmm. The colonies have been incommunicado and at the mercy of the Free Navy since Anaros wiped out our forces at the ring. He could be starving the settlers out or using them as forced labor to survive. That's why we are at war with him. Has anybody in your cabinet proposed negotiations? The deliberations of my cabinet. You gonna negotiate with them? Yeah. Much. The people of this planet have been through hell and it's only getting worse. They're just looking for honest answers. You owe them that. Hmm. You know, Sergeant, if you want my advice, I don't. You should try to impress upon your boss the fact that she has constituents, not subjects. She's aware of the distinction. The one thing I always liked about you is you kind of suck at lying. Oh. I Jeez. feel like Monica is a good guy, but I can't like her. Yeah, well, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's an asshole. Yeah, it's, it's strange. Yeah, and I can't, I always, you know, I question her motives always. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What are you gonna do? What's that look about? I know who you are. So, let's go then. It's all it takes uh. with your other girls. <laughs> the girls? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's she problem. knows the score. She's yeah. the bartender, right. man. They know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not even talking to someone like you. 
He's like, dude, do you know how often I get this? And he just yeah. condescended to her. You're gonna try mm -hmm. negging? Yeah. This one's on the house. Whoa! Kill the to me. Millions of death for people like you. you feel it? You come Whoa! Here. All right. Come on, let's go. I take it back. To Don't you fucking touch me. Hey, you see, I'm your friend. No, you're a fucking joke. The fuck are Whoa! You? Losing it. Yeah, this is surprising. All these girls on the station, they laugh at you, huh? Come on, don't do this. Why? The fuck you gonna go about it, huh? There you go. Yeah, you get your that, ass bro. laid out. No, he's not gonna stop. Oh! oh! You shot your friend? Bro! Oh, Jesus! Oh, man! What's wrong with you? Oh, whoops. I shouldn't have done that. Unbelievable, dude. He's gonna kill Marco. Yep. For turning <laughs> yeah, him into sure. this. Yep. Your problem is that you're a Marine. You're sick of doing nothing. So are you. So is the whole fucking planet. So you got something to do then? Mm -hmm. I just received word from Hogan. He believes they've located and he knows the spotter ship. They're going to check it out. See if they're right. Hmm. If they are, that would be good. Yeah. Yes, correct. Little winds here and there will not hold us together. We need more than that. Something big. She does something seem out of place in a montage yep. of the crew. She sure does. You have something in mind? I do. Okay. Do we get to know yeah. what it is? Not till next time. Hey. Well, all right. Wow. Season six has commenced. What do you think? Um, well, I, I love this show. Yeah. It was it was awesome. <laughs> it was a little it was a little slow, a little um, you know, like I feel like it was kind of setting stuff up. Yeah. The ball's gonna get rolling maybe next I, episode. A I was bit a more. little disappointed that we spent the whole episode after the titles in our solar system. They gave us that teaser of the yeah. four molecule structure in the new planet, Laconia or whatever mm -hmm. it was called, and I want to know what's happening there. I want to see right. that, that girl with the alien animals. Uh, and actual alien animals. And what, what, we what is Weirdbeard up to with the protomolecule? Mm -hmm. Those Martians, they disintegrated, so I think they didn't make it through. Mm -hmm. Did they have the sample that like was oh, yeah. paid to the Martians for the Navy ships. So does that mean that it didn't come to the to Laconia and to interact with the structure? Or? Yeah, and that would be the last bit of it, pretty and much in existence. I think there, so. Yeah. Right? So I mean, I'm not saying like, oh, I feel like we're supposed to understand this, and we don't. Mm -hmm. I'm saying they didn't show no, us, and I want to know yeah. about that. But I mean, I guess we had a lot to cover in our system because he is throwing like hundreds of rocks at mm -hmm. the Earth. Or, yeah. I don't know the exact volume, but it seems like it's a very large number, and they're all covered in stealth composites. So like, we can't detect them until they're right there. Yeah. You know? It all seems very, very bad. I'm sort of, again, kind of being like, at this point, it looks like there have been tens of impacts, right? At the very and, least, yeah. And like, there's a, the, been a lot the size of impacts. Of those rocks, like, seems like one impact could kind of be like a an apocalyptic event. I think Avasarala was was talking about that when she like did the mm -hmm. thing with her hands and the the snow or the dirt or whatever. Like, you know, the atmosphere is getting, this. She was talking about CO two scrubbers mm -hmm. that you know, like it they can't handle it and the Earth is going to become unlivable. And the Belters are saying as much. They know mm -hmm. that that's the goal. That seems like a really bad goal. Mm -hmm. Like, wouldn't you want to conquer the Earth? But they don't want to live on the planet because their physiology doesn't allow it. You right. know, like They're the just gravity tired is of being, too much. They're tired of being under the boot, but like, uh, it seems like bad form to destroy like the planet that your species came from originally. Well, There's I mean, something yeah, something about that that's like <laughs> bad dude, form. That's, it's, it's, it's quite rude. It's just <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a bad taste. <laughs> exactly. No, I mean, I yeah, but it's. But it's because they can't live on the planet and like such a certain percentage of their population can never live on mm -hmm. a planet, 
they don't see it as like this is the safe harbor where you know like life is actually good and you have the sky and you can go outside and stuff they just see yeah. it as I'm tired of the people who live on that rock giving us a hard time mm-hmm. and making our lives worse than they need to be you sure know? they think if there's nobody living on earth and nobody lives on any rocks that are that big then belters will live in harmony is their notion right. I think you know I'm they're, thinking, they're wrong but that's their idea yeah I guess I'm thinking a uh, a child a hundred years in the future asking where did we humans come from mm-hmm. it's like, oh well we came from from earth you know there's like a, a planet yeah. on the inner in the inner solar system called earth and we're from there and it's <laughs> like oh well can we go there no why well because it was destroyed well, in a war we destroyed it yeah <laughs> well they didn't do it at that well, point they didn't do it our yeah, ancestors destroyed yeah, it that's right know? yeah it was destroyed by our ancestors yeah but it seems like such a I mean, it's, it's such a horrible circumstance that they're all in now, but it also seems like such a, a, a predictable result of the situation that was before. Yeah, you know? right. Of them that's true. Constantly just being exploited and put down, and you know the not once the ring was in play. I mean, I understand the worry about like awakening something or bringing something mm-hmm. back or whatever but I feel like once the ring was in play they should have just told Belters that you know everybody can go through the ring whenever you want go find yeah. your settlement you know the restricting of the ring was probably the last thing that made them be like okay we just got we have no up. choice yeah. and you know I kind of I kind of understand the impulse it's like you can't just control everything all the time just because you say you do the ring showed That's yeah the ring showed up it's the for, like the very yeah. edge of the solar system, you can't declare yeah. that it's your. You get mm-hmm. to decide who goes through it because you, ha- you know, it's a might makes right thing. Like because yeah. we have the biggest navy, we're gonna set up a blockade. Right, and it's like, well, why can't we go through? Oh, because because we said so. Well, it's and like, be- we I can- mean, because something might come back through. You know, well, I understand that we yeah, don't understand it's... why this structure that can take us to other parts of the galaxy is here now. So yeah. let's be careful. I get that impulse for mm-hmm. sure. You know, it's. The, it's still just yeah it's uh, the politics of it are very there's an understandable element from like a being you know there's the super powerful government that mm-hmm. just goes around telling all the other governments what they can and can't do yeah and it's like a new element gets thrown in there and it's like well can we do this it's like no and it's like <laughs> we will screw you yeah, I'm gonna ex- do no, right, something exactly. about I'm this gonna throw I'm rocks sick, at sick you. Of you yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's still bad. It's, it is. You know, it's hard to. It's intense to watch the footage of the Earth just because. I. I mean, I don't know about everyone. I'm from here. Yeah, I, we're, so we're, like, we're both Earthers. Seeing that imagery <laughs> is is quite intense to see. Like, yeah, it you was, know, uh, giant explosions like that just towering over everything. You know, it's so weird to think about how like there, the Earth has been hit by big rocks in the past. Mm-hmm. There have been living creatures on this planet that are here for that event yep. and that's just so weird to think about that it's happened to, to mm-hmm. living beings before you know like they're completely wiped them out it's but crazy. like there were there have been creatures that are that guy from the season five episode who sees the rock hit you mm-hmm. know like there have been creatures yeah. that are looking up in the sky and like oh What's damn that? yeah <laughs> <laughs> what so i don't know it's just yeah. it's crazy to think about it is um um Philip, i like, think you're right yeah, he's gonna he, kill, he's on a kill path Marco. to kill Marco. Yeah. yeah, he just killed his friend. <laughs> he just shot his friend. Yeah, maybe his friend's not dead, but he shot him in the gut. He yeah, that's a bad wound. Him. Yeah, and Don't yeah, see. good. He, he's he's losing his mind. That's that's not yeah. a good thing. That whole his arc really sped up. I feel like we got a lot more of Philip being. He he was you know kind of like a troubled kid on the ship and stuff. And I think mm-hmm. once he landed, it's like he his. His dad is like the hero right. of the whole, so he's he's a little bit high on that residual he, power. Yeah, he's high on his involvement in it, but he's also simultaneously living in his dad's shadow, and mm-hmm. also morally doesn't feel right about what they're engaged in, and so that mm-hmm. you know is causing a lot of storm to brew inside him. Sure. I think. Yeah. Where's the line though? It's like you knew what the plan was. Yeah, but it's he, like once there's a difference between being told the plan and actually having done it, and it's irreversible now. That's you know? true. And he was young when all of this stuff was exactly. like, and now yeah. he's right. like yeah, turning he's into like a young man, and mm-hmm. he's maybe realizing like maybe complete annihilation of an entire planet is something I should feel kind of bad about. Yeah, you know, like regardless of whether there are enemies or not, you know, like 
not everybody on that planet is our enemy. Surely yeah, right. you can realize that yeah. in some moments. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's... But it's just, it's weird for me to watch him kind of begin to reel from his own decisions, because I'm like, you were on board yeah, every yeah. single step of the way. We know, so, you, like, you don't like people to regret their bad decisions. No. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if it's foreseeably, I don't know. <laughs> like, you did it, dude. Yeah, no, I understand what you're saying. Um, <laughs> but well, again, I will allow him space to grow... I guess. Yeah. We'll if he kills him, Marco, if he kills Marco, that'll that's be good. good. Yes. That'll be a point in the win column for him. Marco does not, is unredeemable though, in my mind. If oh, he starts yeah, to yeah. go like, wait, what do I become? No, no, then they, be like, they are not gonna, gonna do that. Them, They're man. not gonna redeem space Osama bin Laden. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> I will say because this is a new season and it's the last season and it's shorter. And because, you know, this is based on a book series where, you know, this is maybe something that would be more present in that kind of thing. When Holden was standing next to that reactor, I was not entirely sure he was not going to... I thought he might die, you know? Yeah. I thought maybe that this reactor is going to start and kill James Holden. And I know that's an unceremonious end for a hero like that. But I was thinking of it from like a book series perspective mm -hmm. of like from a, you start a new book and you sort of want a new paradigm in your series. You might be like, I'm getting rid of the... I mean... This series has killed their protagonist before. The protagonist yeah. in the first book is Miller, right? And mm -hmm. he dies. Yep, he dies. Yep. So, uh, I, I mean, that would have been weird at the beginning and everything, but I just, as I was watching it, I was thinking to myself, is he going to die? Is this going to start right here? And is, you know, yeah. like, Holden is going to be killed? Yeah. And, you know, that, in my head, that's kind of what they were trying to make you feel. Yeah. Because, it's like... All bets are it, off season. Yeah. And also, like, Holden's arc... You can tell he's even tired of. I'm not saying like the actor's sick of playing the character or anything. No, the like character is tired of this like, shit. Can I just go home now? Well, and we this talked is... about how last season he didn't even really have a lot to do. He yeah. was kind of around, you know. So yeah, I, I was like, anticipating he might die, and I still don't know for sure if he'll survive the season. You know. Yeah, I would be fine if he died early before the last episode. Mm -hmm. you know? But he should probably get something a little more meaningful than banging on a reactor at the yeah, back right. of an asteroid. <laughs> yeah. You know, if he's gonna die. But yeah. and I, I don't want him to die. I like Holden. No, he's me he's either. space John Snow. You know, he's yeah, great. He's, that's right. <laughs> There's just something sort of like, okay, he's the other characters could carry this pet to the finish line. We don't mm -hmm. need James Holden anymore. His arc is technically has been over. His character arc is done. But he's still thinking about the ring and the proto molecule, mm -hmm. even when they're on this belter war. So he's gonna bring us out to that. Yep. I don't know. Is that uh, about do it for this week? Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, I'm excited for our final season of The Expanse, our final stretch of episodes. Uh, if all has gone according to plan, there should be a poll on our community tab by this point that you can go vote in for what show will come after this. Go take a look at that and cast your vote if you like. Please no screwing around with the poll. Just cast one vote. Yeah, be just cast cool, a vote. Be a cool, a cool guy or gal. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Sean. I'm Nate. This is Ketchup Packets. See you later.